My name is Tatiana Tsunogorac Jucevic. I'm one of the group leaders at the Center of Molecular Oncology. My research is focused on pancreatic adenocarcinoma, uh, which is the most common type of pancreatic cancer and certainly the deadliest. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma is predicted to be the second deadliest cancer by 2030, second only to lung cancer. In order to make a change for those patients, it is important to diagnose the disease earlier in addition to early diagnostics, we are also working on a new therapeutic strategy. Based on experiments we performed in the lab in the last couple of years, we have isolated several potential novel therapeutic targets. In the experiment Tanya is going to show us, we are going to add an antibody to our pancreatic tissue slide. This will bind to the protein that we're looking for. When this antibody binds to the protein, it stains the area brown. This allows us to see very easily where the protein is located on the slide. Now for the experiment. In the first step in the procedure, we remove the vax from the tissue section. Subsequently, antibody is added to the section and after a period of incubation, the interaction between the protein and the antibody is visualized by appearance of brown staining. The slide is then looked at under the microscope and the intensity and the localization of the protein is established. This is what you would be able to see if you looked down the microscope. Using this technique, we have shown that the protein is expressed only on the surface of pancreatic cancer cells, hence the brown staining on the surface of the cells. We have also shown that the protein is only expressed on cancerous cells and not normal pancreatic cells. So what does this mean and why is it important? Because we know that these antibodies recognize a protein that is only present on cancerous cells, it means we can specifically target these cells and avoid damaging normal cells. These antibodies, called therapeutic antibodies, can help kill the cancer cells in several ways. Firstly, they can make the cancer more visible to the immune system, so they can mark the cancer cell for destruction by the body's natural immune cells. Secondly, we can attach radioisotopes, drugs and toxins to antibodies so when they bind to the proteins on the cancer cell surface, they can deliver the toxins, killing the cells. Tanya's lab have just been given a grant to further test this exciting theory. However, many other brilliant scientists aren't as lucky and can spend up to 40% of their time applying for grant funding. Cancer research is uh, an expensive and uh, complicated business. Uh, Fundraising is, is absolutely essential to be able to support what we do. Without the donations of blood, urine and tissue from patients, we simply wouldn't be able to carry out this research. It's, it's absolutely fundamental in order to, for us to have the, the resources that we need to, uh, to use in both the laboratory and in the clinic. I can't tell you how grateful we are. We are absolutely dependent on what you do in order to be able to do what we need to do um, in order to save lives from this terrible disease. To find out how you can help with our fundraising efforts, visit our website using the link on the screen. Or you can visit our Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn or YouTube pages. We're more than happy to hear from you. So today you've seen a little of what goes on behind the scenes in the Centre for Molecular Oncology but there's still a lot more going on at the other five centres at the BCI that we couldn't show you today. You can check out the rest on our website and find out more about our other life-saving work there. We hope you enjoyed your virtual tour and thank you for visiting. Goodbye. <laughs>